Actually, the same character <laughs> from episode one. Oh, episode one. Okay. Yeah, the guy that's sitting in the pod race. War with Davis. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. the guy that's sitting in the pod race with jo- or what with Watto, it's mm-hmm. the same guy from Solo. That's that's yeah. supposed oh, to be the same character. So okay. there's, there's your knowledge for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just like that little thing. I mean, I still hate Weasel. Him. Is his name? Clever. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think the only thing in this one that I really like is this uh, the speed bike scene. Bikes are great. Yeah, that yeah, seems great. The Rancor scene was it, wasn't that in there? Was that the Rancor? Yeah, the Rancor's in there. Yeah. That yeah. terrified me as a child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. I like that. Yeah. And the, the <laughs> that's gonna be everything for Ross. Was like, there, no, yeah. it's not. A, it's, 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 it's get it right. It's a sand vagina, not a giant butthole. Oh, okay. it's the giant butthole in the sand. <laughs> no, it's a sand vagina that swallows men whole. And the fact that Boba Fett was down there, I, I appreciate yeah, that. It's very too like, Okay, that's pretty Less fast 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 fast. When I saw it as a kid, I was like, "Who the fuck's Boba Fett? Why is he in there? Why do I care?" <laughs> <sighs> you were so dismissive as a child, where you're like, "Yeah, pretty much." He doesn't change that much. He, he's no, not, not, not different. <laughs> okay. it, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to think of all points I like about it, so I can talk with him on it. I hit the speeder bike scene. I'm like, "Slave Leia." I appreciate that as as a horny adult, <laughs> okay. but I don't find the cinematography of that being any a nude uh, a nude Boba or nude Boba Fett. <laughs> what movie were you watching, Dear Diary? <laughs> where, where can I find it? Uh, I'm interested. <laughs> what the hell is his name? The slug guy. Um, Jabba the Hutt. Jabba, there you go. That was a nude Jabba. That wasn't bad. Uh, Jesus, God. I like the reveal. In the beginning, I can appreciate that. Um, what? Which reveal are we talking? About? Uh, when? Um, are we name? talking about Jabba's palace? Yeah, yeah, there's a there's a long complex plan to rescue Han Solo yeah. from Jabba's. But yes, I, I I like the way that that scene was shot. Where if you the first time you watch it, I don't think you actually recognize Lando. the fact that he's there. And I I like that until he, until he does this. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, it's Lando. Yeah. And you know the connection to. Han frozen in carbonite, and I enjoy that. I enjoy that scene, and that's where it starts going all wrong for me. I I like in a, in a weird part of me that isn't necessarily related to the Star Wars films. I like the Rancor, just because it felt very Jason and the Argonauts to me. Mm-hmm. That's which, what they were going for. And yeah. and it it was just it was very like it felt kind of epic, you know, in a weird way, mm-hmm. but different from. All the rest of the films, and you get to see Luke kind of being a badass. Yeah, and I, there's nothing wrong with that. I, with this, the, the whole film is like I remember bits and pieces of it that were really neat, and the rest are just kind of filler. Like I mean, I I still liked it, but that's why I wasn't really wasn't one of the top ones or the top ones on mine. Got to destroy the Death Star again, <laughs> again. There's and that's and that's why this one's three for me, because I think it does a lot new. 
It's an enter it's 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 a it's an entertaining finale to the original trilogy, but there's a lot of sameness to it. Like you said, oh we got we have to go fight, you know, stop the Death Star again. Oh, I, Luke's I gotta guess, have another fight with Darth Vader. I guess in remembering the scene with Palpatine and Darth Vader and Luke at the end, and just seeing how powerful Palpatine is and how like, you know, in control of this empire he is, and then you have Luke uh, Vader's redemption, which is good. I enjoy that. But again, we're talking about a very small part of this movie, which is why it ranks so low to me. Is because to get to this, I get like a 20 minutes of things that I enjoy out of this movie, and I get an hour and 40 minutes, or however long it is, of the rest of the stuff where I'm just like, it's just trying to build to this, and it's not doing it. See, full disclosure for me, these the, the, the top three on my list will always be the top three on my list forever and ever and ever because they're the ones I grew up on. This is the this is the first movie that I actually saw when like originally in, you know like yeah. they had re-releases of the first two, but this is the first one that was new. I got to go see them. With, with all of us, we're we probably will rank those pretty high because we they're the first <laughs> to set the tone. They I, set the scene. I it does. Not I have a, I have nostalgia for the whole series. But it doesn't matter to me, like, when I when I see a movie, I want to see a movie. And it doesn't matter how much, like, it, take Lord of the Rings. I love, in fact, I love that trilogy more than I love Star Wars trilogy. As do I. And, but I think of The Hobbit, oh, and there's nothing no, that no. can save that trilogy. No, and, there's and no redemption. I don't have, and, and there's movies that come out that have, I have liked more than... Yeah, it, 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 it is, and it's yeah. just as bad as you think. There's a super cut of that movie somebody did where they cut out all the nonsense that wasn't in the books and stitched it all into one like one five hour long. I've heard that's good. It is. It was very good. Yeah, and I liked it, it. And not to go on, we can make yeah, another wrong on table, a wrong table. Wrong yeah. table. Talk about that. <laughs> it it doesn't matter like how nostalgic and how you, you great can, of a world this created for me. You're capable of taking this stuff. I'm, ta I'm capable of taking that off the table and just recognizing what makes a good movie I'm, and what makes it entertaining. So well, yeah, I'm also you. taking my nostalgia glasses off and Return of the Jedi is the third best Star Wars film ever. I can watch that Jabba scene over and over again. Like That first 30 minutes of the film is great. I can watch that by itself. The one, for me, like I, I like most of the film. The one thing for me is just, I can in no way, shape, or form wrap my hands around the fact that Ewoks <laughs> are saving Rebel Troopers yeah. from, from, from you know, it's underestimating the, <laughs> Were they know, these, these, these things dishes? are no threat to us, oh my god, oh <laughs> god, they're killing us. The, uh, Wookiees? I don't know if I read that somewhere. That was uh, the I had. I was like, how do I make this better? He thought, it was, he thought about using Wookiees. The original design for Ewoks basically looks, makes them short Wookiees. They don't have the bare ears that are more marketable and stuff. Pedal bears. <laughs> wow. Wow. So much hatred for Ewoks. Yeah. Murder bears. Well, I, I wish Darth Vader would come and murder them. <laughs> Yeah, and I wish an Ewok would eat you right now, but, you know, I mean, these are things. I appreciate that they were, like, they set the traps, so, like, they were planners, and they worked around it, but still. Like the Viet Cong. How far in advance did they have to set the traps up? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's some discontinuity there. Well, they've been working to try to do stuff, but, you know, they just figured that the, with these human people with laser guns here, maybe maybe we have a chance this time, so let's they, do it. They set traps, and they just, they didn't trigger them because they're so tiny. The weird, creepy Ewok celebration scene is kind of weird. Yeah, I was just thinking about, about that. that. I was hoping that, they're, that, we're, that they're cut to it and there would be like a right, they're beating on, spit. Right, they're beating on... <laughs> yeah. Well, they're already beating on their decapitated skulls as drums. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Their skin is making spits and they're like, oh, there's some real shit here. That would have made it better. Like, all of a sudden they're like eating humans. Remember, they do, <laughs> try, remember, they do try to eat Han. Yeah. Yeah. They were going to eat all of them. Until C three PO was a god and did some magic and things were fine. I, I thought that C three PO was like helpful at all because he was just so what it's like, he he deserved one moment yeah, in the trilogy yeah. that was actually useful for something. Um, also I'll mention that I didn't like it because at, at the end of Empire Strikes Back when they freeze the carbonite, I thought that was just like, Holy shit, they're wow, he's dead, he's gone, like they they took away a character and then no, never mind. Which Spoiler! In order for Mark to like a film, you have to kill a main character. <laughs> this is a fact. We've had this discussion you have, before. You don't have to kill characters. You have to have stakes. You have to show that stakes can happen to them. Injuries are fine. 
With the carbonite, I, I understand why he did it because he wasn't sure if he was going back, but it just felt like it was just, oh, hey, he's back now. That might be the best scene in an entire scene, an entire movie series, is that kind of that battle. Skipping ahead. Uh, what? Which battle? The, the Vader, Luke, in the carbonite chamber. Oh, yeah, we'll oh, we'll get there. We'll, get we'll definitely we'll get, get there. there. Probably two um, movies from now. And that's a think. safe bet. <laughs> I actually think the uh, the Luke and Vader lightsaber fight in Return of the Jedi is. I think that to me is the best. There's more emotional show. stakes to it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think of it. In terms I think of the lightsaber du- fight. I think, I think it's just of like this this massive like he's reached Jedi status. I think now. the dual part of Empire is better than Jedi, but the. Well, both of them have more meaning behind them. There's two guys whacking, you know, lasers yeah. together. Yeah, but, flashing but, yeah. But, but, yeah. but Jedi means a lot more because he's trying to save his father's soul yeah. more. Some things I forgot to point out about the prequels and the, this one, like the, the originals, I thought was a lot better was the lightsaber fights. They had emotion behind them. Yeah, there's felt, emotional stakes rather than just... And they felt worse. like they were fighting for their lives. Well, it's what the, it's what the, it's what the new ones are doing, too. Like, yeah. The lightsaber fights mean more in those as well. Yeah. So just look at how much yeah. they flip. Look yeah. at them slice saddle They're so flashy. Yeah. yeah, just... It gets boring when you're just like, okay, they're doing that. They're doing we're that. starting to move away from... Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. satisfying conclusion to the films. Uh, you know, not, you know... It was a conclusion that really wasn't a conclusion. Well, it's it's a which I mean in a, in a good way. I'm not. I don't. I'm yeah. Not no. No. It did. It did set it, up. It, it, did it set wrapped up, like, up the, the story, future. but it didn't wrap up the universe. Right. And it's it's a satisfying conclusion if it's the last film. It's you know not perfect in some spots. Like you know, there's a little bit of sameness to it. But you know, all the characters you like get happy endings, and that's that's it's good. That's all I, we really all we really, really want is yeah. happy endings. <laughs> 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 Okay, so we're, we are good with Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Yep. So, on to number two, which doesn't come to a shock, it's the new ho- uh, A New Hope. I was hearing you guys talk, I was wondering if it was gonna, which one was going to be first. <laughs> you, you, you had, come there, on. There I, put the new hope come on. I put New Hope as number one. There are a few people who like it better. Yeah. I mean, it's it's alright. Maybe I was wrong. But I know people who like the Return of the Jedi. There are. <laughs> Fuck those people. Yeah. <laughs> so, A New Hope, I think, Part of it, for me, is putting it in perspective of, well, it, it starts with the fact that this was, sh- it's shot like a serial. Mm-hmm. And in, it, it feels like a serial, like your Flash Gordons and stuff, but it feels like it takes it to the next level. So it takes something that I already liked and just steps up the game. Mm-hmm. Well, it's this perfect blend of Flash Gordon serials and, like, Spaghetti Western. Yeah. You know, there's like a, there's a grittiness, you know, like yeah, it's it's like nothing that had ever been done. At you that get point. Han and Chewie in the Katina scene. You get introduction to Ben Kenobi. You get I I so like many, I like there's samurai movie scoundrel. stuff in there too. Yeah. Dirty yeah. scoundrel. Yes. So. Gen of villainy and yep. scum, and you know they're 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 for hire and they're not doing it out of the goodness of their hearts. But and you find out later that they. I know maybe our um, Luke's so impressionable and youthful and young, and you get that coming of age story where he's yep. the world exists beyond Tatooine, and a, it, I I like A New Hope. I it's a hard, it was hard for me to put Rogue One ahead of it in terms of movies that I enjoyed, but I do like A uh, New Hope in and of itself. It, I don't really find any huge flaws with it, aside from. Bill Handel, like, is, 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 like, it's the very first time you can tell that they're doing some choreography with the light flight saber scene, where it's like... Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's true. Yep, yeah. at the, and you're talking at the end? No, in the very beginning, when he, when he fights, uh, Vader. It felt yeah, like, yeah. or that's, I, at the end of, of ben, ben Kenobi. Yes. Well, Which is great. I like that he, you know, he I, I like the way, pump. I like the way they shot that, too. Yeah. Of, like, it's not just, like, this... Laser sword. Yeah. <laughs> the lightsaber doesn't just like slice him in half. It's just like poof, he's gone. Yeah, and everyone's like, "What the fuck?" You know. Yeah, and it, and it, to me, the first time I saw it as a small kid, I was like, "Oh, he has power. He, he disappeared, and he's still alive. And what's <laughs> going on?" Yeah. Like it, oh, it, it, it blew my mind. Oh, and like, that's and that's just it. That movie, like you see that, you know, as a kid, it's like one of your first like movie experiences, you know. 
Now, what, what if this ship is cool? What is this? What? Is that a lake? Is that lake? What, is there a laser gun? They're in space. Look at the size of that ship. That oh guy has God. a breathing problem. Damn. <laughs> These white dudes are scary. scary. He can choke someone without? You know, he's got autoerotic powers? <laughs> <laughs> I made the mistake of watching A New Hope right after I watched The Santa Claus for some reason. So now whenever I see... Um, Darth Vader poking at Obi Wan's robes. All I can hear is Tim Allen. He's naked somewhere. That's <laughs> a odd. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's a very odd. That's all right though. I don't know. Uh, Mark, I, what are your problems with it? You rated it the lowest out of all of us. What? That's true. I did. Nice. But I still. It, it, it wasn't just hard. Just a random. <laughs> nice. It wasn't hard to rank it lower than the. I, if I you didn't rank it. it one or two. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. Or three. I guess Ross it, gave it a three because of I, I do, ha I have a problem with stakes. Like, it just, it's a good and evil fight. I've never really cared for that. I don't, I don't like bias. Some of that. That's how, what all Star Wars is. I get that. But it didn't do it. What are the stakes? They have to destroy that giant space station that can blow up everybody and killify everybody no, no, no. in the galaxy. That, those are not He doesn't like the fact that it's just so polarized. You have, you have good, it's, it's a morality play. He's going. He's going. Matter. He's going that's, for that's, that's not what Mark. Okay. Okay. Mark yeah. doesn't like a black and white universe. All right. Well, there's there's there's, 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 there's yeah. problem. Okay. Yeah, that's why I, I really it. liked the uh, Force Awakens because they took the that uh, ambiguity and they made it into the story. There's character. You see, so you, you're getting Vader in the very in, in the very beginning of his like you know story arc where he does seem he he's you know evil. He's the Empire's like you know. Juggernaut, essentially, yep. what he is. Number one and, murder boss. One, yeah, exactly. And then you find out later that, oh my god, and that's what makes the other films so much more powerful, well, at least one other film, much more powerful. <laughs> well, it makes, yeah. it makes Vader's effect in the other yeah, films. Yeah, he becomes, like, an, like, essentially an anti-hero. It does what, what it's trying to do very well. And mm -hmm. it, there's so many good things that go with it. I personally didn't like it as well as some. But the first I, time the Millennium Falcon was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did, however, love Solo. Yeah. And Chewie. I mean, so Chewie. Solo and Chewie in, in this. Oh, yeah. Immediately I grasped for them, just like these scoundrels. Well, it's the, it's the classic thing when you're a little kid, you want to be Luke Skywalker. When you get a little bit older, you want to be Han Solo. <laughs> I think I wanted to be Han Well, Han you're, you, are, you are a special case. Yeah, I You always have case. been. I want to be Vader. <laughs> I never want to be Luke Skywalker. Yeah, but then you have to be a whiny teenager that nobody likes. No, I don't have to be that. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Nobody remembers the prequel to yours. You just, <laughs> I can just look at myself through degree burns right now and be done with it. <laughs> Inhale some mustard gas. Well, I'll find some high ground and uh, you'll meet me outside. <laughs> I can take care of that problem yeah. for you. Wait, wait, wait. To, to me, it's just... It's, it's well-paced. And I don't argue with, with your thoughts on it, Mark, as far as it is. It is black and white. It's, it's a, it is, like you said, it's a morality play. And I can't argue that, but I just felt it was so well paced. I realize we didn't talk about something in Return of the Jedi. That was Yoda. That's true. We can talk, we'll, we'll, I have a feeling we will be talking about Yoda yeah. in a few minutes when yeah. you bring it back around. Uh, one of the things, like, in the hierarchy, I, I like most things Star Wars. And in the hierarchy, one of the things that falls down near the bottom is the Jedi. And the fact that we didn't really get the Jedi stuff down our throat in this film, I, I appreciate that. And it's more so now. Like, we spent so much time watching these films where the Jedi, like you say, are this omnipotent superpower. And yet, or the some, Sith. Some of the dumbest people on the Well, right, but they, they, they're, it, you know, there's, there's the Jedi and, and normal people. Like, this film was more about normal people. People, even mm -hmm. though you were dealing with the force being involved in, and it was a mystery, was right? A, they had faded. They, you don't know what they are. I mean, people don't know about them, and so it's kind of this: we have to go on this fact-finding mission and take back the the veil of secrecy and find out what Jedi are. Why did they do what they do? Why did they exist? And so it, you have that. Uh, Empire reads the rationale of their evil force, and are they really evil? Yeah. They're they're controlled by a predominantly evil man, but the Empire later on you realize that it has its purposes. I mean, there's some things. The fact that they don't like other alien races, which endorses fascism, mm -hmm. Good. and I think that uh, that stuff all comes in when you're 
once you've grown up. Yeah. As a kid, I like whatever. They're evil. They're bad guys. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. that's as a, and as, that's what I needed as a child. What I wanted. Cool. It wasn't there. I was I wasn't out there like I did. This wasn't an eight year old me like. Well, these guys are kind of bad, and these guys are like in the middle, and <laughs> no, it's good bad. Mm-hmm. It's simplicity, and and maybe that's what drew me into it. And well, it's, it's the a, film I watch the most. It's such a simple, you know, it's a simple, straightforward story. It's well, there's there's like it drags a little bit in the beginning, just a little bit. Yep. Like it, like once C-3PO and R2 get off the ship, up until they meet Han Solo, kind of slow, but it's you know you still learn about the there, there's stuff going yeah. on. Yeah. You whiny Luke. Yeah. But it picks up right after that. It's like nonstop. I, I don't I don't really like Luke so. They're, 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 he's they're, very unlikable in the first one. Like at the, especially yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning he, he it almost seems like he's the character that to me like it like you know you're not supposed to like this guy. I don't want to do farming. Hey, I, his buddies were at Tashi Station. Have you seen the deleted scene? They they were. They were. He went there to get power converters and they're there. And they made fun of him and, and there's a space yeah. battle going on. Yeah. I do like that at the start they show how clean the Empire ships are, like for the it's, most part, except when they go to the It's a nice it's a nice like way to establish like the Empire's got all the good stuff. Yeah. The rebels have all the crap. Yeah. yeah. And then they show the, the, the grungy, like the, the rebel uh they can lamp out a little rickety and Mm-hmm. There's always one point that kind of bothered me in the New Hope, and it, it might just be because of like how they had it originally wrote it, and then how it turned out to be. Is when you have Vader and the generals, and when you first see the, and when they're they're giving him shit, like you know, you're part of this antiquated thing, and I was like, I would always think to myself after having watched the whole series, I'm like, they would know who Vader is. <laughs> they would know at least know that you know that he has some pretty badass powers. Maybe you don't ridicule him to that level. At least I feel. I mean, I can see where you would write it like that. I kind of think it's like, even for a lot of the Empire itself, it's like they know he's like the Emperor's top enforcer, but they don't know he has magic. Because mm. they're a lot like the rest of the guys. Like, they, the Jedi they forgot about so the Jedi. We don't know what they, we don't know and, what they and, do. and that's true. I just, I felt like, and there's that discontinuity like where I felt like this was originally might have been like a standalone film at, at kind of first. Like, how are we going to write this? You know, he's going to be some ancient practitioner and then you kind of you get the series and it's like no that we decided well it actually to... does a pretty good job of being a standalone film yeah. i mean yes they give you that little back door of vader getting away so oh, we can come back and yeah. menace you but i mean they, they they go on their mission they destroy the death star they get rewarded at the end have the ending no friends that vader getting away seems, uh, like that, you know. yeah. and i the other thing with that as far as that goes like there's times when i've been not necessarily in the same city, but there's somebody important. <clears throat> and somebody gives them a little bit of shit, and I will pounce on that bandwagon. Yep. Even if I know it's bad for me, sometimes yeah. mob mentality rules. And there's that, like, and, you know, looking to prove themselves in that. And especially in a case where if you're dealing with generals, they probably have little dick syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> We're not, this is my opportunity to act tough because everybody's doing it. And, and it's, a, it's a very minor criticism. It, right. It's just something that... That scene always kind of bothered me. In, in, after I had seen the other films, in revisiting it, it didn't make sense to me. But it doesn't ruin it by any means. Just to find something to pick at for A New Hope. And <clears throat> rationale for why I like the next film that much more. The, the This film also, the first thing I remember seeing on a television set was the ending of this film. That's And, and that's instead, I didn't weigh that into my decisions, but... That's, for me, the nostalgia in it, is I remember waking up late at night and walking down the hallway, and my parents were watching, and it was the end of the film, and I'm just like, what, what was that? That was awesome. So the next day, I got to watch it. But I was very, very small. Yeah, my parents very quickly learned that they couldn't watch any Star Wars film without me, because I would find out. I would be <laughs> hiding around the corner, and like, yes, you can come on and watch it. <sighs> you thought you'd get away, which you didn't. The only thing I don't like about this was George Lucas changing almost everything. Because if you go back and listen to every iteration of Obi-Wan doing that yell, at one point he sounds like a drunken hobo in pain. Yeah, yeah, the less said about all these special edition tweaking on any of these movies, the better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like when they added Emperor Palpatine's screen. 
to I, with I like that they re- they did do that so I had a chance to go and see him in a theater since you know you did yeah but there was again oh, you see it and you're like yeah, that's hey, they yeah, why, why did they fix that they they fixed things that didn't necessarily need to be fixed. there was things that they fixed that I don't have a problem with but there's also things that they fixed that maybe they didn't fix you know? I don't know what you're talking about shooting first and whatnot. Why? It, why do you have to change it? Why can't because Han, Han is a good, because Han good is a good guy. He's a good guy. That doesn't mean he can't. I consider myself a good guy, and I'll tell you what: if somebody's going to kill well, me. Totally pre- 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 what Mark was saying earlier is that he had to, he had to create that as polar opposites. Where and what made Han so good is that he's, he exists in that gray area. Well, it's why they, you know, that's that's why that's why Solo does that thing it does at one point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Take that, you stupid special edition. Mm-hmm. And also, I did see the special edition first, and I thought that was silly that they were just shot back and forth when I saw years later that, oh, hey, they had the original version where he shot first. Well, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. You wouldn't have just put that up to chance. You would have taken him out before you could be it. No, it's a, that's one of those disconnect things with older George Lucas from younger George Lucas. And it varied that. You, Han needed, you, you're, not supposed to, you're not supposed to be sure if you like Han Solo or not. Yeah. Yeah. And the gun under the table, very, very Western. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and it, at, like you said, at the time, Han Solo is, is he going to turn out to be the bad guy? I mean, they do it a lot in modern is he, movies. Is he going to double cross him? Yeah. We don't, we don't know. Is he going to be like Belnicio del Toro? Exactly. It's the like new he seems, Han? He, oh. he's, 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 he's cocky and charming and he cracks jokes and I like him, but am I supposed to like him? I don't know. Yeah. It turns out, <laughs> yes, you are, and yeah, he's great. But anyway. Yeah, well, right. Especially after the On to the one that we all knew was probably going to come. He, I, I don't know that there's a whole lot of argument here. Um, it's going to be just the only person who didn't rank this, well, other than me, who didn't rank this at one was Rob. And Rob, a lot of the things he said about A New Hope were similar to what I had to say. Uh, so Empire, obviously, number one. Uh, that Hoth, that battle Hoth, of, uh, Hoth, Hoth amazing. very much another, like, just 30-second chunk of a movie that I can watch. You know, by itself, just over and over again. Right away, right into the shit. You know, you're just like, you know, like the things things go bad for our heroes. Wampas and, and and tauntauns, and they're introducing new creatures, but I like them. And well, just, and they introduce them in a like a natural feeling way. Yeah. Your hero of the film gets knocked the fuck out in the first two minutes. Yeah. Ooh boy. And you gotta do some weird shit to survive. Like, yeah, what? <laughs> like. Mm-mm. What? <laughs> and mm-hmm. this, well, that specifically goes against, like, it had set up some stakes. Like, it felt like, oh, hey, he might get injured. He might not survive this. Yeah. I need heat, though. I gotta stuff him in this carcass in order for him to survive them. But yeah, it's realistic how they would handle a situation like that. It's like, hey, okay, be careful. We're just gonna freeze that. Yeah. Battle scene with the ATAT. And just the way that that holds up so well. Oh, yeah. Uh,. There's a reason, like, if you look back, you realize that Empire has the least special edition tinkering because it was pretty much perfect already. Mm-hmm. Yep. You didn't need to do it. You didn't need to fix anything. Yeah. Just the miniature work and, you yeah. know, it's so well done. I, I wish I could do miniature work. No, it's, just, it's just amazing, like, you know, when you consider, like, when they were doing it, like, just the three years from, like, when they did the first one to this one, like, how much better they got it. Yeah. It's like, the, the work is just you so much better. Extras. And how well they're like involved in this. Yep. They're they're like, you know, troopers. They're, they are troopers. They're resistance and. Well, it's just like everything, everything that Star Wars did well, Empire does better. That's yeah. it's just what it is. You know, like you get to see the soldier. You know, there's more soldiers. There's more just everything. And it's a deeper, like a deeper, more emotional story where you know, like you're talking about the greatness. It's like Lucas kind of at a cross. Where like you know, turns out turns out everything's not so black and white as he thought. He has a reason to be conflicted. And, and I've got to kill Darth Vader. Wait, what? He's he's my what now? Oh, yeah. oh. And also the the training seat on uh, uh, or the Dagobah. 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 There it is. Probably one of the best character introductions. Yeah. Oh, Yoda's great. Yoda's, Yoda's introduction was really really good. Yeah, he's just I, a crazy hermit. What? He's supposed to be this master, and he's just and, and just the way of the just like because Luke doesn't know who Yoda is. 
And as the audience, not knowing the first time you watch it, you're like, ah, that ain't Yoda. Yoda's a super master. Yep. What? Is this little you gremlin? <laughs> yeah, Yoda's probably some old guy like Obi-Wan. Yeah. You know, maybe this guy's his, like, goofy buddy that I, I think it, it, part of it calls out the stereotypes in everyone of just, like, you yeah. expect that. You expect it to be an old white man. That and, is, to be 100% fair, that's what I expected. And then going back to Return of the Jedi, that is another scene that I do enjoy. Is yours. Oh, death. Yeah, final farewell. Yeah, that, oh, it's great. I still cry. Yeah, that just the, using a puppet for that, like, I, I thought it worked well. Oh, it's amazing, you know, I mean, like, they've, they've talked about it, like, they knew that if that puppet failed, that whole movie fails. Like, yeah. you won't be able, you, you'll be taken out of it like that, and it's just incredible work. Jim Henson, right? Uh, Frank, Frank Oz. Oz. Frank Oz, that's right. Yeah. It was part of, it was in, in part, Henson was, I believe, involved in it. Yeah. I, think, but, I think Henson actually recommended Frank Oz. And Frank Oz did the actual work. Oh, okay. yeah. And actually, in the new film, with Yoda in it, Frank Oz was there. No, it's just, yeah, no, it's, like, the, everything that they were able to do with that puppet, like, he comes to life, you know, mm -hmm. you forget, you forget that he's a puppet, yeah. eventually. And just, the, the comedy in that work, too, it was just, like, it was just enough where it was just, like, okay, he's kind of weird. Well, it's mostly, it's mostly because it's my favorite kind of humor, sarcasm, like, yeah. everybody's just, they're all just sarcastic asses to each other, and that's film is great. I yeah, just, Han, like, as cool as Han was, and, you know, I do hope he's ten times cooler in the Empire Strikes Back. The the only thing that I guess the reason that I didn't rank this number one is with the exception of what I feel is kind of a forced plot point of Han and Carbonite. There's really nothing. It, there's a lot that's important, mm -hmm. but it's not important, kind of. Like, they took things that you could have easily... Con you could have crushed into another film. They made them incredibly good. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. Well, you're just taking, you're taking your hero characters to their lowest point. You know, this right. guy's just learned out the biggest secret of all secrets. He's devastated. His best friend has also been, like, frozen in a block or whatever, and he's been taken away. It's like, you know... Oh, well, he also lost a hand. He's you know, been betrayed. Yes. Hasn't, They've been has, betrayed yeah, by someone they, they trusted. Yeah, hasn't... And, yeah, they were pretty quick to forgive him, though. Yeah. Because yeah. he's Lando. He's charming. Yeah. What are you going to well, do? And, All right, Lando. It's hand, okay. hand, come on, hand. <laughs> he he kind of did it for the right reasons. Yeah. He was trying to save his people, and then he gets fucked out of the deal. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he did immediately go, boy, I screwed up. Let me, let me yeah. help you try to get Han back. Yeah. And yeah. Those are the kind of storylines I appreciate. Just where you're like, there's a reason. There's a plot it's probably my favorites. All too easy. Just, oh, just, just Vader again. It's like Vader was Vader was kind of a badass in A New Hope. You know, he's like this top, you know, lieutenant enforcer guy. He's like, like taken to another level. And those shots of like him walking down, and he's got the light, his red lightsaber, and they're coming to a head, and. Luke is fighting for his life to try and, and they're, they're, they're kind of evolving some more force powers here. You're seeing some leaps and some, you know, controlling and more so he's like stopping bolts and you're getting more and more into like why these guys are so powerful yet you're not getting like the full like, we're going to do 30 flips here and, <laughs> you know, throw some shit. And There's a lot to be said for the lighting that took place in that where they had like the black yeah. on black with the lights behind it. Like in the newer ones you can computerize it and make it make it look how you want back then they had to take every shot and build that set beautiful. yeah and you know how you know like put lots of smoke in here it'll make it look those, those things will look cool or you know yeah getting back to your part about episode four of the choking and that's that's like it, i love the fact that there's like the payoff like oh tarkin's not here to tell him to stop you're dead <laughs> and then you're dead and you're dead don't fuck up you know, or darth vader will kill you yeah. although it's a great way to get a promotion in the, in the You're now an admiral. In the Don't screw up. Initial viewing, like going back and remembering as a small child, I don't remember watching the actual film, but I do remember at this point thinking that Vader's the boss. Yeah. Like the Emperor was nowhere as it as my small <laughs> self mm -hmm. was nowhere. It's like he's as bad as it gets. Mm -hmm. I remember 
well, that's what makes the Emperor so great in like Return of the Jedi and stuff is because you realize, oh, this is Darth Vader's boss. Yeah. If Vader's this yeah. bad. Oh crap. And that could be. I mean, the interesting thing is like I didn't like Empire wasn't my favorite movie when I was younger because I think most is like you don't pick up on a lot of the the nuances and the great yeah, you know yeah, like yeah. until you get older. Now that you know, it's like now that I get it, it's like my favorite. Well, I, I remember when Luke's hand gets cut off, mm-hmm. and that's when we showed that you said there's consequences, and there's fallibility. This is yeah. what happens when you rush off before yeah, you're ready and, to do it. And Luke's face when he's clinging for life, mm-hmm. and you know, you, finally he's acting, and it's good emotion, and he's like, no, you're not, you know, and you can see the pain. And when he lost his lightsaber too, I was just yeah. like, holy crap, that's that's he lost his lightsaber. That's his weapon yeah. what is he gonna do now and then he makes a new one but at the time it was very impactful yeah just the acting and that was so much better and you get an introduce as vader not only as a bad as super badass but also as someone you you get the glimpse that he you know, he wants his son back and you're kind of like well maybe there's, there's there's a person in there still there's some maybe there's something to this i mean if he was just badass just dead but he's not and so and you're like, why? Why? What? It, it sets up the third one, and you 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 end that film with so many questions, and such a like I said, it, it, it it's an emotional roller coaster. Oh yeah, and that's what makes a great film, cool. is it doesn't just take you on the upward crescendo and then you know you kind of go down. You have highs, lows, and it takes you through the whole gamut. Like, like you said, like from the very first shot of that film, it yeah. grabs you and it doesn't let go until yeah. the credits are rolling. Maybe the only boring scene is when they're coming into Bespin. Maybe. <laughs> it, 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 but then you're like, you're like, oh, look at Bespin. You know, it's, it's beautiful. Cinema. That's what does it for me in the movie, is the shots where you can actually see through the, per- the, the camera and the director's eyes where he says, we need to set this up and do a great shot. And you can think about that. And that's like, like you said, with the smoke. And even like when, when they open the door and Vader's in that little room and he just like pew pew and grabs it, you know that's a good. And again, with just his hand, he doesn't need his lightsaber. Yeah. He just does it with his hand. You are nothing to me. You know. Yeah. The cute toy you've got there. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> and the best change they made when they did the special editions: putting windows in Best Fit. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah, it makes. I mean, it works. It works being kind of claustrophobic like it's originally shot. But yeah, it, it's one of again, it's one of those. The changes they did make in that movie actually make that film better. Whereas a lot of like the other ones we've talked about takes stuff takes you out of it, takes it away from it. I honestly wish that they would have never gave Luke the robot can, uh, or just kept him. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't need that. I don't need. It, I don't need them to solve a problem that doesn't need solving for me. I feel they probably did that because it would just be. Well, and we're talking in the like. The, what this is a time when it would be very difficult. To what? Shoot. Some, someone's handy, not handy capable? No, no, no. We gotta make him human again. He's, he's half yeah. a man. He's a, that's and that's true. It, like, well, again, I don't know if it's you know. I mean, because obviously, I don't know if they were thinking that far ahead, but I mean, it works in Return of the Jedi when he looks at his robot hand. It does. And realizes I, he's turning into his father, just, so it it has it has a significant yeah, storyline. It, it quibbles for me, but I mean, it's just something. I mean, I, I will agree that it's it's funny that you know in the Empire Strikes Back, it's the only time where the hand actually looks like a real hand after yeah. they fix it. Where even in like the new movies, Luke's robot hand was still a robot hand, yeah. but like yeah. I mean, I can't imagine somebody walking around with, like, a Terminator endoskeleton hand and, like, puppet saying, like, yeah, it wouldn't sure. have worked as good. Or just give him, like, a claw. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what, that's what it's saying. Oh, oh, wait, no, he's got the stump, and that's where the lightsaber is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that would be kind of cool. A couple lightsabers, like, 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 oh, no, 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 this, no, is, this, is, this is the now. old school trilogy, we don't need more oh, than like, one blade for lightsabers, one is enough. <laughs> I see your lightsaber Vader and I raise you. <laughs> I don't know what else we can say that uh, every, every It's been said a million times. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's There's great. a reason it's, awesome. it's, um, it's almost un- almost universally agreed upon as the best. Yes. I mean, you're going to have people that, you know, they'll change it, but it's, it's not dropping. It's not going from one to... It's not falling to say well, five. It's, it's, it's not. It's not falling on up. I've heard it as low as three. Some, some people. Impressed. Some people. Some people like Jedi and A New Hope better than the Empire yeah, because right. they don't like they don't like downer endings. I think yeah. you'd be hard pressed to find somebody who likes the prequel, but yeah. 
it's one of those rare, it's one of those rare Hollywood stories where a sequel to a movie <laughs> is better it's than the original. Yeah. Like basically, the first movie I ever saw, where it's like, oh shit, the good guys actually lost. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Quick question: Favorite Lord of the Rings out of the original trilogies? Which are That's for a different video. I just want to know. That's for a different video. No, I don't want to do another. Stay tuned to the special features. I don't want to do another trilogy. We'll see you all in the next one. We'll see you. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy Star Wars. Boo! Peace.